we can't end this interview without talking about a phenomenon global politics. Uh, Donald Trump has risen up in America on the back of what appears to be, and we discussed that last night on, on stage with Baroness Amos, you talked about it, what appears to be, uh, uh, in Ghana we call it Sankofa, which is to say, go back and pick it up, go back and pick up what is ours, something like that. Yes. Uh, it's going around the world um, almost. Ultra-nationalism. Ultra-nationalism, yes. We saw it here in Britain in Absolutely. the Brexit. Donald Trump uh, rode on that and became the Republican nominee for the American election. Uh, he now stands at a stage where he is behind the polls, but you never know he could win the American election. But that has been his battle cry. What is your reading of the American politics of today? Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton. Well, my own position is very simple, personal. You know, we have, um, again, uh, politician, they all militrician, as they call them, ex-military, who's the head of state. And when the House of Cards, which he built, was collapsing around him, and he realized that uh, the game was up, he decided to leave the party in a very dramatic way. He called for his party card and he ripped it, you know, in public to say this party which he himself set up was no longer part of it. Now, I have a green card. The day Donald Trump becomes president of America, I will take that card, call a press conference, and I'll cut the green card to pieces and they will never see me in America again. But why? Because I shudder to think what America will become if a, if a, a, a mind, I mean, I was going to use the word mindless, but actually it does have a mindset. If you have a mindset, it doesn't mean you're mindless. But outside of that, he sees nothing as existence, that mindset. And that mindset is a very negative, uh, a lager kind of uh, 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 mindset in which push everybody out and let us sit, squat, on what we have and let that grow and push everything out of the way. It's a very simplistic reading of what the world is today, the world coming together on so many levels uh, and uh, humanity trying to, to heal some of the global crimes of, of the past, especially towards the so-called third world by keeping at least a semi, uh, adopting a policy of openness, kind of openness to the rest of the world. And then somebody comes along and wants to turn the hands of the clock back, and very often thoughtlessly, thoughtlessly, because he's even reversed some of the things which he said earlier when he realized it wasn't getting him much uh, mileage. So that sort of person is very dangerous. And America has a lot of power. To think of somebody like Trump, in charge of that power. Listen, um, th thank goodness I'm not an American citizen. But I'm, just a <laughs> I'm just a permanent resident. My bags are always ready. But if his election finds me in America, look in the planes. I'm the first to get on board. I'm getting out of that place. Well, I have to thank you for this interview, Prof.